Salutations, everyone. Today, I am joined by my good friend Boximus, or Box, or whatever he calls himself nowadays, for a glorious video talking about a, uh, a new statue, uh, a Thrall statue, and uh, we're going to talk about it because of the implications behind it. Uh, so, yeah. Hey, thanks for having me on, Skull. Hell yeah, dude. I don't think I've actually ever had you on as, like, you know, like, this sort of thing. Like, I've always, you know, we've always sort of done this sort of thing on your channel. But I don't mm -hmm. think we've ever, ever done it on my channel before. We have not done this on the Banorama channel yet. No, because usually I don't do these types of videos. But, uh, I figured it would be a good idea because, uh... You know, like, I, I don't think I'd be realistically able to talk about this by myself as well. Like, I think that I can, but, mm -hmm. well, you know, I want the video to be longer because ka-ching. Um, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so this uh, new statue was brought to my attention by the uh, Lost Codex. I'm sure other people would have, you know, told me about it in general, but it is a whomping $600 <gasps> statue of, oh uh, my wallet! My wallet! Just hearing that price, but it yeah, it looks so good. I, I don't even have that kind of money. I don't even have that kind of money for like a two hundred dollar statue. Like, what, what the hell? But it, it, <laughs> it is top quality at least. I mean, it's really good. It's better than the statues that you've been reviewing lately, besides the Bulgin and you know Sarfang ones. But like the. I didn't like the Jaina statue that much. Her face looked weird. And I didn't oh, and like the Sylvanas D stage one looked like the... The Sylvanas statue, oh boy. That was oh an boy. Ugly, ugly statue. But, yeah, so this Thrall statue, let's get let's get right into it, because, like, we're not going on script. This is, like, the first time I'm not going on a script for once. Uh, I'm just going by off my head. But, uh, and this is gonna be, that means a lot of rambling for me, because I ramble a lot. Uh, so yeah, so this Thrall statue, it is a combination of, like, uh, current Thrall from BFA and, uh, OG Thrall from, like, World of Warcraft, Warcraft 3, uh, Reforge to Wrath of the Lich King, where he wore the, uh, Doom Plates. And there's, a there's a lot of differences, but there's, you know, also plenty similarities to, uh, how those Thralls looked. Like, uh, this Thrall, he carries the Doomhammer again, he carries the, uh, axe that he's been wielding since BFA, uh, he's, this is, like, the one thing that, like, will debunk this whole theory that we're gonna be bringing up once we're done talking about his appearance, but, uh, th there is no gray hair or whatever in his hair, so maybe, like... It actually looks like, um, actually but, Skull... If you zoom in on some of the pictures on the Blizzard yeah. Store website, not to get cut off what you were saying, it actually does look like there is a little bit of gray in like his beard and the top of his hair, just a little bit. All right, though. maybe I'm wrong then. I, I maybe maybe there is gray hair then, and that actually makes the theory even more popular. But uh, like, it just it, it it's a common. I, I like what they did this with Thrall because they did this with him in Warlords of Draenor, where they had him have mm -hmm. the uh, shaman kilt and the doom plate armor. This time around, they have the uh, Frostwolf uh, appearance and the Doomplate armor. And this time around, he's wearing the Doomplate, which, like, n not, like, just... Well, he's wearing the Doomplate back then, too. But, like, uh, last time, he wasn't wearing the shoulder pads. And, like, the shoulder pads are, like, the best part. So, it's weird that he wasn't wearing it. But, like, he's got, like, the Frostwolf... Uh, it's mostly on his legs... So like the like the frostwolf uh, pelt or whatever is mainly around the waist and leg area, and uh, he he's not wearing the chest plate. He's wearing some kind of uh, it reminded me of like the grunt. Uh, what is it called? It, it's <laughs> uh, God. I, I, I the, the name is like on the tip of my tongue. I'm trying to think. Harness. Harness. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like yeah. he's wearing like the like the guard. Yeah, he's wearing like the guard yeah. harness on his on his chest. Um, but like he's wielding the doom hammer, like I said. Uh, it looks like he's an orgrimmar too, like just by the little. Base. Yeah, it definitely looks like. But one of the things, like the the biggest thing that I took away from this is it's called War Chief Thrall. 
And it is. Isn't it? I went on this for like a oh, little bit is. on Twitter, but like one, the fact that he's wearing this type of set and armor again makes like this, in my opinion, and I, I could be wrong about this. Like this, you know, it, it's why I label the, these videos speculation in general. But uh, I think this is what Thrall's going to look like in uh, in Shadowlands at some point. Mm-hmm. And uh, I go ahead. Oh, dude, honestly, like, yeah, that I think that's the big speculation because one of the coolest things I didn't mean to cut you off, so mm-hmm. I apologize because I do that do. a lot. Um, one of the things that I really like about this is the fact that he is wielding the doom hammer again, which is something that oh, yeah. I know you and I have been upset about for a while that he hasn't had the doom hammer. Um, I like that he's wielding both. And it, it, yeah. Oh my god. I know. I was worried they were gonna ditch the axe like after it because I really like it's safe haven where he puts the axe. On oh, the he's shoulder. doing that like, pose right, right now with this statue. Like that's what I like mm-hmm. about this statue is it's 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 a callback to BFA thrall and OG thrall and thrall has not worn the doom plate for so long. Like yeah, he wore it in Warlords of Draenor, but he didn't wield he didn't wear the full thing. And this is like the closest we've ever gotten to him wearing the majority of it. He's just not wearing the chest plate, which, in all honesty, I can live with that. I can live with that. I would rather him li- wear <laughs> the shoulder pads than wear anything else. Dude's gotta be flexible. Yeah. <laughs> it, but, like, yeah, so, like, we're going back, going back to, like, the whole, like, Doomhammer thing. Like, in Legion, he gives up the Doomhammer. And... I get why he did it, like, don't get me wrong, I know the lore implications and why he gave it up, but I never liked the idea of the player character, one, being given the Doomhammer, and then two, like, if you read the book, like, it, like, it implies that, well, maybe Thrall wasn't the guy that they were talking about, maybe it's you, and it's like, Ooh. no, don't do that, don't, I like my, my, my shaman, I like my character that I'm playing, but... I like my, uh, I like these Warcraft characters way more than, you know, you know, our, our, our player character. I, I just do not like that, that whole thing of like, and, and I know this is going to be a thing. I know this is going to be a thing when, whenever they do it, but people who are going to complain about, you know, Doomhammer being taken away from you, it was never yours. I, I really don't like that whole, like thing that players have about the artifact weapon being taken away from them like Zalatath like they got upset over Zalatath leaving them and becoming her own person I think some people actually did I yeah because I I think Zalatath too was like felt more attached to the player character because it was sentient during Legion, yeah, like it was sen- whispering it, the Shadow Priest. It character. was sentient and it was new. Like Zalatath was not a thing until Legion. Mm-hmm. I like Zalatath. Right. Zalatath was a really cool. Like honestly, all of my favorite artifact weapons are usually the weapons that didn't exist until Shadowlands. Like I don't get me wrong. Again, I like the fact that we wield the Doomhammer and the Ashbringer and you know what was basically Frostmourne, but it didn't mm-hmm. feel right. And I definitely, I, I, I definitely think that there's going to be some form of story implication of, you know, Thrall. He wants to wield the Doom Hammer again, and he wants to wear the Doom Plate again. I think that maybe he meets up with, you know, I feel like his encounters in the Shadowlands are what is going to drive him to look like this and act like this. I that that's how I feel too, Skull. I didn't mean to cut you off. But. I feel like. I, Either him talking to Garrosh or Draka or Ogrim, maybe even Sarfang. I really doubt that Sarfang's going to have an, another encounter with him, but hey, you never know. Um, but I think that's what's going to lead to this design. And again, I, I we, we touched on this earlier a little bit, but the fact that it's called Warchief Thrall has me hella sus on what's going to happen to the Council. Like, I, I, I like the Council, but... <laughs> If I had to choose between the council as it stands right now or Warchief Thrall, I'm going to choose Warchief Thrall. I miss it. I, <laughs> I really do. Like, I love the council. I get the feeling Thrall might be pushed back into leadership, too, because he doesn't want it. And that's been a big thing they've been pointing out with his character. 
But I feel like he's going to be yeah. forced into it because of the current state of affairs. And perhaps, you know, this time around he can make better choices by not putting someone like Garrosh in charge. And maybe the war chief has to seek, like, they lead the council, but the council is still heavily involved in, the, like, the ultimate decision making of the Horde. Because I, it does. I was kind of thinking. Mm-hmm. I was kind of thinking that, like, the sorry for mm-hmm. cutting you off. You, you just, You're good. We, uh, when I have a thought, I've got to say it because I don't forget <laughs> it. But I, I, one of the things that I was thinking about was the council itself doesn't go away. But, like, I, I have, like, multiple scenarios in how it could work. But maybe, like, you know, the council is still a thing. But Thrall handles military matters while they handle political matters. Um, maybe the council elects a war chief and that they have that position until war is over, you know, uh, stuff like that. Like, I'm not, I, I don't see the, one of the things that another thing that the Lost Codex or Jesse brought up is maybe this was the original plan, mm. but they scrapped it in favor of the council because the council was more of an appealing idea. I can't, again, I do think the council is a superior idea when it comes to longevity mm-hmm. because you know you have thrall let's say you know in a scenario where thrall dies or goes power hungry which you know i don't think would ever happen uh, either of those two um you know that that causes chaos within the horde but with a council you know you have backup leaders basically just in case that sort of scenario happens. You have Lorthamar, Thalrissra, Bane, Gazlo, etc., etc., Rokan. You know, you got those guys to kind of handle the fall should Thrall ever, you know, go crazy or die. I... But... I can't, I can't also, like, th- there, there are faults to the council system, too, because, like, what if the council can't agree on a certain matter? The Warchief could... Because it's a single voice that booms over the others. And I think the thing about Thrall is he, he's got experience as being war chief, and that's why a lot of leaders like in Shadows Rising look up to him. That's something I really like that like he's kinda of getting forced into that type of role again, but he doesn't want it, which makes it interesting. When you when you look back on it, right? Because, like a good example, like I, I don't know, I feel like that's a good arc for him to go through, because Thrall is kind of a natural leader, whether he likes to admit it or not. You know, he he's. I feel like Thrall. Like, here's the thing with a lot of the leaders of the Horde. None of them really wanted their positions, right. for the most part. Most of them were just kind of like throw. It was it was thrown on them, like Rokan. Bane, Rokan, Gazlo, even Lorthamar, uh, Thalarisra. You have so many, le- even Vol'jin, for crying out loud, was not really too big on being war chief or leader of his people, but he had to do what he had to do. So the majority of the Horde leaders don't like leading, but they're good at it, so they have to kind of just do it. Right. But I, I definitely think that Thrall is going to, you know, he's going to put the Doom Plate back on, he's going to wield the Doom Hammer again. Uh, he's going to potentially, potentially take up the mantle of War Chief when things go awry. I think either things are going to go to shit in Shadowlands, like you know, against the Jailer and Sylvanas, or and you know, like there's this, there's a lot of spoilers behind this, and this is where the spoilers come in uh, with the Alliance, with Tyrallian leading the Alliance, because Tyrallian, uh he's not exactly too big on peace like Anduin is. Yeah. Like, like, they're for peace, but not the peace that a- after Anduin After that wants. stuff, too, that Tyrallian and Illyria did in the book, it's gonna get really interesting quickly. It's gonna get grim, like, and that's what I want, though. Like, I think, you know, like, I do think we need a break from the faction war, but I do think that having a, uh, you know, alliance starting the conflict, alliance being the bad guys, would be so refreshing and so nice for the horde to take. And with Thrall as their leader, it makes them easier to be victims this time. Yeah, like a, a good example of this was, was in Wrath of Lich King, and a lot of people don't focus too much on this, but Varian, Varian wanted war. Varian was very insightful and ready for war. I mean, it didn't help that Garrosh also <laughs> wanted it. So like. You, you had this little middle ground of, like, both sides kind of had a character that wanted to fight the other, 
but in the case of Shadowlands and beyond, I don't think the majority of the Horde want to fight the Alliance. I think they kind of just want to, you know, deal with their own crap. Yeah. And uh, if you have the Alliance leadership, especially with Terralian going like, we're going to fight the Horde because, you know... I don't, I don't have an exact reason on why the Alliance want to fight the Horde, but I think Terralian... A good example is Terralian wants to retake Alliance grounds, mm -hmm. like Stromgard. So, like, areas where the Horde occupy that shouldn't belong to them, at least in Terralian's eyes, could, you know, be lost. Um, Skull, before... I don't know if, if you have a lot left you want to talk about for story speculation, but we should talk about the actual detail on the statue itself. Because I uh, was gonna, I was just about to say that we should probably talk about that too. It looks really freaking well made. I don't know if the actual version like this would look like this. It's definitely something I honestly, if I have the money, I want to buy at some point. Uh, as somebody who collects this kind of stuff, but like just looking at the paint and the detail on it, it definitely. I looks think it's hand painted. Really good. It is, yeah. That's it probably is. why it's six hundred dollars, because it's it, hand painted and not like generated by like a machine or something. This is something that if it's still available in a long time, I would pick up. I'll be honest. Uh, this is <laughs> this is something that I would pick up if I had the money. I don't. I am. I am not rich by any means. I uh, there are days I wish I was. I think anyone <laughs> kind of wishes that they were rich at some to some extent. But yeah. Uh, the, the detail on the statue is amazing, and I, I, I can understand why it's, at the very least, near the price range that it is. I mean, I, I, $600 for a statue, I can't drop money on. I really can't. I can't justify that price for me, but, like, you know, mm -hmm. I definitely can, like, understand, like, you know, it's, it's, it's like, handcrafted from the gods, basically. <laughs> <laughs> like it looks so good. I love everything about the design. The fact that he's wielding the doom hammer, the uh, Duratan replica axe is what I like to call it. You know, he's wear he's wearing the doom plate again. He's got his cool, you know, beard and braids that you got from BFA. Like it, it just so much about it. I I adore and love. And if we got this as an in-game model at some point. Oh. It would be used in a lot of videos, I can tell you that much. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I, I I would use the crap out of this design. I, I Something I wanted to mention before I forgot, and mm -hmm. this is like the one thing that could maybe, you know, throw a, throw a wrench into this whole discussion of him getting this as a model, but uh, Hearthstone. Hearthstone recently had images of Thrall throughout his uh, history. And one of the things that I noticed in those was that uh, younger Thrall was wearing the uh, the armor that he wears in BFA, and like parts of it when he was in the internment camps. And then when he finally becomes War Chief, he's not only wielding both two weapons; he was wielding Gorhal and the Doomhammer. So it's like Blizzard fell in love with this concept of Thrall wielding an axe and the Doomhammer, and. Uh, I don't know, like, that's just something I took I, I took notice of when I was, you know, I was writing notes originally for the original video, but then I was like, ah, I'm just going to talk about this with Fox instead. <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw that actually, um, that picture from Hearthstone with him wielding Gorhowl. That's actually a really interesting concept in itself, because, like, he technically could have grabbed it in Warlords if he wanted it. <laughs> uh, well, he technically would, but... he could have wielded it after Mists, because... Oh yeah, Gul'dan you know, grabs it, actually, in Warlords. Yeah, Gul'dan like, grabs it and then throws it at Gor Gromash, and Gromash is like, my son! And, uh... I, I don't know what happens to it after that, but Grom somehow gets it back again to fight, uh... Archimond, and then, uh... He's seen wielding it in the future with, uh... The Maghar scenario. Mm -hmm. And then, th then that's it. But, you know, like... You have this... I, I, I just love the concept and idea of Thrall wielding, you know, an axe and the Doomhammer. Like, that's such a... You know, I think that one of my... Uh, one of the people in the League of Machinima... I don't know who, but I'll credit them whenever I show the image here. But uh, they actually had it... They had Thrall wielding, you know, Doomhammer and this axe. It's very... It's very reminiscent of Thor in Endgame. That's what it kind of reminded me of, too, actually, when I first saw it. It, it, I definitely think Thrall, it, it, in a weird way, it, this makes Thrall look a lot more shamanistic as War Chief too. Like, it, 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 I feel like he always looked more of a warrior before. 
he's definitely more... Yeah, that's what I like about this design. Like, I think that's what I like about his Warlord's Adrenal design, his even his Cataclysm design. I know a lot of people hate the Cataclysm design because throws balls! But, uh... <laughs> I think, like, this is, like, a really good blend or a middle ground of, like, Warrior Thrall and Shaman Thrall together. Like, again, I, ugh, it's, like, a perfect blend. A perfect blend of what, like, the best iterations of Thrall. The only thing, the only gripe I have is he does not have the ponytail still. Mm -hmm. We have never had Thrall with the ponytail. We almost got it in Warlords of Draenor, but then it got scrapped uh, for Bald Thrall, which no one liked. <laughs> Bald Thrall. <laughs> I hate Bald Thrall. He needs his hair, and they gave it back in BFA. It's like, oh man, ha having him come back in BFA was such a treat. And then in Shadowlands, I can't... I, I want to talk about spoilers, and I will say like a few things here before we fr before we end the video, but like, mm -hmm. uh, um, just having him back in a main role again in Shadowlands, and you know, clearly they're setting up him to meeting Draka and all these other characters in the Shadowlands. That's what Shadowlands is all about in my opinion. It's it's characters who are living getting to interact with characters who are dead. And that's like the main selling point to me of what Shadowlands should be about. And uh, the one thing that like makes me kind of... I don't know if, how they're going to go about the, doing this in Shadowlands if they go with this concept is Thrall loses his axe. In Shadowlands, at the start, he yeets it at Halia, and he loses it. He better so, get that thing back. He better get that thing back. Either he gets it back, or they take that concept from her stone, and he wields not this, you know, his Duratan axe, but Gorhal. Ooh. Maybe that's what they'll do. I would love that, especially if he gets to talk with Grom and Garrosh, and Garrosh tells him, wield my axe. Use it. Remember. Succeed me. where I failed. Thrall. Succeed where I failed, Thrall. I would love that. I would. <laughs> it would be so awesome, though. Like that would actually be, um, that would be a cool moment between Thrall and Garrosh. Because I think the only thing for Garrosh that needs to happen is him admit that he was wrong. After the, after all the shit in Revendreth, he's not really yeah. gonna be able to get like a complete redemption. But for him to admit to Thrall he was wrong, and like then that allows Thrall to wield the elements again and get over like the depression stuff totally, would be the best ending for yeah. both characters in my opinion. Definitely, I definitely think that that would make a lot of like I I really just want like a really good ending for the two in general because. They were buddies at one point. You know, Thrall gave hope to Garrosh. It'd be such a nice contrast and a nice ending for the two characters for Garrosh to give Thrall hope. Damn. I would, I would love that so much for the characters because they were friends. They were buddies. They were amigos. And oh. that fell apart when Garrosh became Warchief. Yeah, that's when their friendship became rocky. Like, starting mainly in Tides of War, it seemed like it got really bad. It'd also be really cool because Thrall gave Gorhal to Garrosh, and Garrosh giving Gorhal to Thrall would also be just... I just like that sort of, like, you know, like, it starts this way and it ends this way. I like that sort of contrast. It'd be so cool. But uh, I think that, 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 that I think that's a, this is a good ending point for the video. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Me and Box tend to ramble, and I think I don't want to make this an hour-long video of us just rambling on about this statue. Uh, maybe it looks be, awesome, though. It looks awesome. It, it it does look <laughs> awesome. Yeah, maybe he'll get this design. I really hope so. It's one of the best designs of Thrall I've ever seen, and that's saying a lot. Uh, say again for the ponytail. Please add the ponytail. That's all I'm gonna <laughs> add. Add my whole thing on it. Like, just add the ponytail. That's it, and it'd be a perfect design. But uh, you know, maybe he'll become War Chief again. Maybe he won't. Maybe this is just a design for the future. Maybe it's just a cool concept idea that they were like, you know what? Let's just make this a statue. But regardless, I hope it becomes a thing at some point. But uh, that I'm gonna leave it off there. Uh, I'm gonna say my goodbyes. Uh, Thank you for watching me. If you like my content, you can like, share, and subscribe and do all that stuff. If you like Box here, he does plenty of machinimas. He does plenty of videos on the side that my character Bannerock features in. He plenty does of he's pizza. A, he, he does a phenomenal job, and he's a really good friend, and he's been a really good, uh, <sighs> inspiring dude going forward. 
since BFA. We became friends in BFA. Uh, so yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and end it there before I ramble on any further. So till next time, guys. Bye, -ya. Bye everybody, and thanks again for having me on, Skull. Hell Bye. yeah. Bye again.